Okay, I'm in the catacombs. I'm still in the upper level. I'm staying to the right. I think I'm only about halfway to the lower end. So since I'm staying to the right, I'm not in the main tube. I'm in a smaller tube. So this is the way I just came down. You're gonna love this. So I can go over there. It's one foot tall. So I'm gonna go the easy way, which is to the right, which is two feet tall. <laughs> wow, trying to find out if I'm two feet thick or not. So I'm obviously gonna have to do a belly crawl through here. Wow, seriously. I wonder if these are backwards. Yeah, I think I'll technically fit through here. I'm gonna be making funny noises. No making fun of my funny noises. Uh, uh, actually, if I cared, I could just mute the sound. So yeah, go ahead and make fun of my funny noises. If it makes you feel good. According to the map, I think, after this tight area, it gets like four feet tall again. So it's just a little short, tight spot. But yeah. Luckily it's plenty wide, so I can go through and have my backpack next to me. When a cave is narrow, then I have to uh, have my uh, one of my feet drag the backpack along behind me. That gets ugly. came to this place, I think, almost 20 years ago. I do not remember it being this hard. I think I might be getting old. Actually, now what year was it? Uh, uh. Okay, it was about 15 years ago. I first came here, I think. There's more of that gold stuff, like in Golden Donkey. Uh, wow. This reminds me of that scene in the movie Aliens, when the robot, or artificial person, was trying to get through a ventilation pipe. Actually, it's not that bad for me. For one thing, my arms are not squished up next to me. I got plenty of room to spread out my arms, my legs. I can tell you there's not a lot of spare room in here though. So if the other side really is only one foot tall, I don't think I would have made it. There supposedly is some cave ahead that is only one foot tall for real. I wonder if I'm not gonna be able to get to the end. Huh, oops, hang on. My backpack got caught on a rock. What's it called? By lava tube standards. I would say this cave is pretty. Wow. Except for the ice caves. I did some of the ice caves yesterday. Wow. Some of the ice formations were awesome. Although, I think it was about freezing because they were like dripping water too. It's kind of creepy. It's weird how the floor is nice, the walls are nice, the ceiling's nice. So where the heck did that rock come from? <laughs> it's like, how the heck did that rock get in here? Did it crawl on its own? Suspicious. <sighs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna sit up here. I don't need a break, but I wanna take a look around. It's safer for me to do it sitting up. Okay, so there's that other way around. Supposedly it's only one foot tall through there. 
I guess that's the way I head. Looks like there might be another two back there. Wow, probably a little nook or cranny over there. Okay, so let me pull forward a bit. Bring my backpack ahead. So that's the way I just crawled through. Yes, seriously. No, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking I want to get through the stupid cave. That's why. Yeah, wow. See, there's a nice big room here. It looks easy. But over there is supposedly only one foot tall. I barely came through where it's two feet tall. Probably got my rear end stuck in there. That wouldn't be pretty. But the thing is, the numbers are all rounded. So one that says two feet, one that says one foot, is probably more like... One is 17 inches and one is 19 inches. Okay, so there's the way I came through. This is actually a pillar. There's another way through. This is the ceiling sag down. I bet you could go around behind there, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna stay to the right. Ugh. At least my knee pad is on for a change. Okay, yeah, see? There's no tube over there. It just bulges. The wall bulges a little. It's cool. Okay, but you see? What I was saying, like, the ceiling broke down here, and that's where this rock came from. And you notice the bacteria is growing on the actual ceiling where the rock came from. Interesting. Not sure what that means, but it's interesting. Wow. Here you can tell it's wet. Wow. So pretty, so bright and shiny. Okay. stop here again just because of all this shiny gold stuff on the ceiling I don't remember catacombs having all this but interesting notice there's a nice ridge there and notice the, the cracks the gold is right where the cracks are in the ceiling so that's where the moisture comes through so that bacteria even like all hydrophobic is growing where it's wettest suspicious isn't it The ceiling's a bit a little bit low here. I want to make sure I don't hit my head. Wow. Look how gold it is there. Ooh, ah. Uh. This is kind of cool. It's actually tube shaped. Let's see. 